Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to another episode of Pop 17. Today we're going to talk about the woman who pretty much invented reality TV. But before we do that, I'd like to give a major thanks to my sponsors, TechCrunch, Perquette PR, and Virgin America. Jennifer Ringley broadcasted herself with webcams going about her daily business 24-7 online. Over 10 years ago, you've probably heard about her before, Jenny Cam. The Jenny Cam website started in 1996 and ended seven years later in 2003. Its tagline was Life Online. Jenny broadcasted intimate details of her life and built up more fans for her site than nearly any other website for its time. Some historical estimates put counts at over three to four million visits per day back in her peak in 1999. She started out in her dorm room at Dickinson College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the age of 20. In a world where exhibitionism and voyeurism are already popular, it's no wonder so many people found Jenny Cam so interesting, even during the most mundane moments. In an article from CNN in 2003, Jenny was quoted as saying, I keep Jenny Cam alive not because I want or need to be watched, but because I simply don't mind being watched. As you can imagine, back in the day, that was expensive to serve. So she gave users a chance to opt into additional cameras that she had set up in different rooms around her house on a subscription-based model through PayPal, and Jenny showed it all. At times, she would engage in masturbation and sexual intercourse while the camera was streaming, which may have something to do with her large view counts. Artists in the media saw her as the first big internet celebrity. As expected, competition was amiss. Ironically, it was JennyCam.net, a pornography adult-rated website that leached off of Jenny's fame. Unfortunately, when Jenny was interviewed on David Letterman's Late Show, they accidentally called her site JennyCam.net instead of JennyCam.com, which really helped out her competition. The strong association with exhibitionism is what killed her in the end, and then business problems set in. PayPal eventually denied Jenny's use of their online payment system due to breach of terms and service. Accordingly, quote, the frontal nudity on her website violates the company's acceptable use policy, end quote, the company claimed. Once she stopped broadcasting, Jennifer eventually deleted her internet identity and withdrew. Today she's working for a web developer and intends to stay out of the public eye. Though she isn't live casting anymore, her archives will be interesting on a historical level. Apparently, she ended without a penny, but was certainly a major trailblazer.